In this video, we're going to talk about why I became a personal trainer from start to finish. So here's what we're going to cover. First, we'll talk about my early childhood influences, including something special that I did when I was a baby before even a year old that sowed the seeds for fitness later on in my life. We're also going to talk about my teenage influences in terms of what happened in my teenage years that caused me to gain a great interest in fitness and personal training. And finally, the make or break decision that I had to make in grade 12 that completely went against what my parents wanted me to do and what the decision was. So stick around at the end when I'll tell you what that decision is. So before we jump in, who am I? My name is Igor. I'm the author of 13 books on exercise and nutrition, including four Amazon bestsellers. As well, I've been a personal trainer since 2006 and trained other personal trainers in my methodology since 2013 by speaking at various different personal training conferences. I've also done over 400 wellness presentations to some of Canada's largest corporations, including IBM, Bosch, American Express, University of Toronto, Investors Group, and others. If you want to learn when I publish more, uh, more videos on exercise and nutrition, click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So let's start in my early life. When I was a baby, I was living in the, I was born in the Soviet Union at the time. And before I was even a year old, my dad would make me hang off a chin up bar to develop grip strength and upper body strength. You can imagine that I was hanging off a chin up bar before I was even walking. Um, and I couldn't hang for very long and I was very scared. He tells me that I was hanging and crying. Um, my mom wasn't too happy, but uh, that's how he developed upper body strength. And his hands were underneath me, ready, ready to catch, but I didn't quite understand that as a baby. Uh, I just thought I was going to fall if I let go. So my motivation to hold on was very, very high. <laughs> Fast forward a few years. At that point, I was living in Israel, and Israel is a very hot country. So swimming weather is five months of the year. So our Saturday morning routines were we would go to the beach, uh, we would jog for 35 uh, to 45 minutes, followed by some swimming, followed by me doing some chin-ups. Now, at the beach, this turned heads. Uh, they they were not used to seeing a six, seven, eight, nine-year-old doing uh, doing chin-ups. And I thought, isn't this normal? Why are they looking at me? Uh, doesn't every kid do this? And so by the time I was uh, 10 years old, I was doing 17 chin-ups. Um, fast forward a few years. And in high school, I was already doing martial arts for four years. But I didn't start competing until 2002. I was training at that time with a uh, with a martial arts club called the Academy of Integrated Martial Arts, and competitions are what ignited my interest in fitness, in athletic performance enhancement, and so on. Because prior to that, although I was already doing martial arts, I wasn't competing. It's really the competitions uh, that ignited my interest. Now, I don't have a great body for martial arts, not not striking, anyways. I am short and muscular. In martial arts, especially in striking, you need to be tall and lanky. So I wanted to figure out how do you get above average results with below average genetics? And that's when I started to really research um, how to do that. I started to figure out how to improve my speed, my flexibility, my endurance. And while my friends were out partying, I was in front of my computer researching all these things, and I found it absolutely fascinating. And yet, at that point, I still didn't think of fitness as a career. I thought it was just a hobby, just some, something to, to think about. Fast forward to my last year of high school in grade 12. Uh, up until that point, believe it or not, I thought I would be a computer programmer. Uh, why? Well, because my dad used to be a computer programmer, and so he liked his career. He thought I would like his career. Uh, but he didn't really pay attention to the fact that I had little interest or aptitude for technology. Um, I was still, I, but it, and at this point I'm thinking, well, it doesn't matter what I like. Uh, it only matters, well, but I guess my parents call for me because uh, I, I figure they know what's best. Um, so up until grade 12, I thought I'd be a computer pro programmer. But when it came time to selecting my courses for grade 12, um, the computer programming course wasn't offered because not enough students registered for that. There were only three students, so they canceled the class. So at that point in my high school, you had the option of taking two spares in grade 12. If you don't know what a spare is, it's a class where you do nothing. You don't have a teacher. You, you can do whatever you want. You can go to the library. You can go home. You can go out to lunch. You can work on extra homework. So you could do nothing. Or my school did offer an exercise science class. So I thought, what if I took this class? So I did end up taking the exercise science class instead of a spare. Loved it very, very much. And then... 
fast forward to grade 12, and it came time to university applications. Uh, that's when you make your selection for which school do you want to go to. So the first choice that I put down on the university application was the University of Toronto Computer Science. That's really my parents' first choice. The second choice that I put down on my university application was York University Computer Science. That's my parents' second choice. The third choice <laughs> that I put down on my university application was York University Kinesiology and Health Science. That's my real first choice. Now, I got into all three programs, but the one that I selected to go into was York University Kinesiology. And you can imagine what happens in a uh, Russian household when you disobey your parents. Not very good things. But fast forward to where we are now, and I've been personal training for, at the time of this recording, 18 years, uh, loving it, um, enjoy working with my clients, and so on. If you enjoy this video, thank you so much. Click like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, Put them below. Thank you and goodbye.